All right, we're here in Washington, D.C. with a friend that we just met recently, and he's been working with us all weekend uh, on getting the word out for Boys of Puerto Rico and for his own group that has been working on the grounds of Puerto Rico since uh, almost day one after uh, Jürgen Maria hit. Uh, how are you? Oh, fantastic. How about yourself? I am great. So tell us who you are. I am the uh, Puerto Rican gringo. The wow. Puerto Rican gringo. Awesome. Yeah. And what is your full name and what have you been doing for Puerto Rico and what has been your mission for the past almost 50 days now? Yeah, uh, my name is Jonathan Sutton. Uh, I'm, I'm out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. And uh, for the past 50 days, I've been out there doing humanitarian work uh, from, you know, handing out bags of food, collecting supplies and water, uh, distributing them out all over to pretty much just about every city in uh, Puerto Rico. And uh, just just been out there doing humanitarian efforts with also veterans groups uh, across the island, uh, helping them with their missions as well. Uh, trying trying to overall uh, get together with other organizations and uh, rebuild Puerto Rico. So Jonathan, I understand that not only you've been working with veterans, but you're a veteran yourself. That's correct. Myself, I'm a, a veteran after 10 years, uh, 82nd Airborne Division Jump Master as well. Um, I retired. And uh, like I said, now I'm repurposing myself as a veteran, and that's what I'm looking forward to do uh, with other veterans as well. That is awesome. So, you were telling me about how you decided to go to Puerto Rico. I asked you if you had friends, and you said you had friends in the island. And can, can you tell me this story again? Because I think this was a superb story. All right. Well, uh, honestly, it was. Uh, I was I was back in September. Um, I ended up getting a call from a few friends. Uh, you know, asked me like, hey, what's going on in Puerto Rico right now? And so honestly, I don't know. I haven't seen anything on the news. Um, I, but I, you know what? I can find some people that can find out. So I had a few friends in the Puerto Rican National Guard and uh, they went ahead and uh, shot me some photos, shot me some videos. And then, uh, of course, they reply back, you know, within message and everything saying, hey, you know, if you don't have to come out here, don't. Like, please don't because it's really bad. Things are just. I, I can't begin to describe the destruction that's been going on out here uh, from the hurricanes. After I saw the videos and the photos, I, I told them I'd be there in about 72 hours. I just need to get myself a satellite phone and I want to make my way over there. Um, I had a friend uh, reach out to me as well saying that they need assistance with uh, finding a friend, uh, finding a family over there. And uh, sure enough, uh, you know, I, I made that happen within a couple hours after you know touching down. Uh, when I got initially to the airport, um, I went over to the Homeland Security section where the FBI were hanging out in the airport and asked them what's the situation out here. Uh, being a veteran, I was able to uh, speak to a few Marines, uh, a few uh, additional Army uh, veterans as well, and they let me know the situation. There was no comms, there was no radio frequencies outside of the airport. So technically the, the, the entire island had no communications at all whatsoever. Um, they, they advised me, you gotta be very careful around here because you know I'm Puerto Rico. Uh, uh, people are losing their lives over just a dollar in their pocket and a cell phone in their hand because you know desperation was that high. I mean, the um, reality is it, it, total chaos happened. Uh, the moment the uh, hurricanes hit, uh, there was no control. Uh, police didn't have control. Uh, uh, federal agencies didn't have control of the island and uh, people were getting very desperate very fast. Uh, looting, um, uh, all sorts of stuff, uh, robbing people's homes, you know, that, that was currently going on. Uh, the death toll was re reaching very high off uh, homicides as well out there. Uh, it, it was really rough reaching the island because uh, the destruction was very high. It was hard to get around. Um, it, it literally took me uh, about four hours to get to Adisibo from San Juan, which usually that's about, mm, about an hour, an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty rough to get out there. Anyways, I got out there, got the, got the mission done, found the family kind of contacted them or they were able to get in contact with their uh, loved ones and uh, from there spent a couple days in Arecibo, came out to Carolina and uh, started uh, started my mission out there. Started doing humanitarian work and I've been doing that ever since from rebuilding homes, uh, getting with the church, uh, Fe Gracia Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Um, they uh, more than generous opened up their church to me and my operation out there where they uh, let us, you know, had volunteers assisted us with uh, creating bags of groceries to uh, feed families and also storing all the goods out there. Uh, what what they, they went ahead and did is uh, we would go out pretty much every Sunday, distribute foods, uh, about 300 to 400 bags of food and about uh, 150 to 200 cases of water out to each section that we would um, uh, go out to. Uh, we went all over the island 
and uh, make sure we gave to all the people. And uh, that's pretty much a uh, wrap of what I've been doing for the last 50 days. What has been the thing that impacted you the most in Puerto Rico? Uh, the biggest thing that's impacted me is the uh, just just the inability to uh, for these people to find aid. Uh, usually, what what I come to find is a lot of people come to tell me that I'm the first person to see them. Uh, whether it be uh, uh, up in the mountains and their elder, or down in the barrels of like Toa Baja, Toa Alta, and they're very I'm talking very easy access to get to those places, but yet they have yet to see anybody. Uh, no one's coming by to even pick up their trash. Uh, all the stuff they lost in their home, everything's still sitting there. Uh, just the overall impact of the, uh, how unsanitary it is over there, where the uh, waste systems are not even uh, operating correctly. Uh, some of the waste systems are actually flowing into the actual ocean and the water runoff. And uh, just, just overall, just people in dire need of even medical help and medical assistance, uh, they're, they're, they're not providing the aid out there. And uh, yet, the biggest thing I get uh, from some officials is that everything's okay. Uh, but it's clearly not. It's not at all. It's a very difficult situation. You came to Washington to a couple of different activities that uh, the diaspora here in the Washington, Maryland, Virginia area had. We had a march today, a huge successful march uh, to discuss the issue of the Jones Act. Yesterday we had a symposium, the first uh, Puerto Rican symposium. Uh, we've managed to, to get in contact with different people that might be able to help you in your mission. What, what is it that you need right now to be able to continue your mission? Uh, overall, uh, I just need your support. Uh, support of others, other organizations. Uh, uh, to make things happen, I mean, just to be very clear, you know, it, it takes, um, I mean, it, it takes donations, it takes uh, funds, it takes, uh, uh, hey, I have this idea, I have these capabilities, I have these projects in hand, I'm ready to go, I just need your, you know, your funds, or I need your donations to make this happen. And, uh, you know, uh, overall, that, that's the only thing really stopping things from, from being overall super successful. I mean, I'm already successful on my own, I, I make uh, all the connections out there that I need to make, I have all the right people in place, just overall, I just need the, uh, you know, um, <laughs> donations to make this happen. Uh, Jonathan, thank you for everything that you are doing. Thank, thank you, you for your service. Hey, and absolutely, up. we'll work on trying to help you as much as we can. Hey, I appreciate and I, it. I greatly appreciate everything you're doing for our people. Oh, amen. Thank you.